1982 Wichita State Shockers were a phenomenal team. The numbers in many areas offensively will probably never be broken. They hit the ball long, they hit it far, and they also stole lots of bases. And they had the, the leading base dealer in the nation, uh, Phil Stevenson, which was uh, the younger brother of uh, the coach. In 1982, Miami went to the College World Series with a team that many thought had no chance. We, we had a bunch of guys that didn't have a, a lot of big league potential. We had a lot of uh, guys that could really get after it on the field, big hearts. When, when Miami's staff, led by Ron Frazier, looked at who they were playing, they realized they were playing the most potent team in college baseball history. Most runs, batting average, RBIs, home runs. So Ron had to come up with something that would slow down their aggressiveness, that would change the momentum of the game. And this is when the Grand Illusion was designed. Nobody really know what happened. Ball is thrown away. Everyone, everyone in the stands, was, they were in shock. The silence that was in Rosenblatt after that it was like amazement. People on the sideline stood up on the television replay and looked like this for the ball. That is an outstanding play. You know, the stories have been told about how the umpires, even they asked Cocky, they said, what just happened? Did you, did you see what happened? You know, I mean, there were so many people that didn't know what was going on. Fooled everybody in the ballpark. Nobody knew what to do because it was such a bizarre play that it was, it was just silenced everybody. They were doing everything possible and it to the point of, of making what normally would be a ridiculous attempt that turned out to be the most spectacular play uh, maybe in college baseball and will live on forever.